solve large intractable problems. It's a new venture altogether. Your brain is a wild horse there. Because remember, writing is not a team sport. You are not selling horse carriages when there are cars. I want to be known only as a trusted advisor. More like a tourist. Play to Potential Podcast. <laughs> so, Deepak, let's wrap up. Now, I'm going to finish with my best coaching advice, but before I do that, I'm going to ask you a question. Give me a couple things you learned in the last 90 minutes. One is about knowing that uh, it's a lot more, you need to work much harder on yourself than you expect the people you work with to work on themselves. The bar, you need to set the bar much higher for you, for you to be relevant. So I think that point is... Uh, That, that's that's one thing that's sort of struck me. And second is there's a big difference between you think you know something versus you really internalizing something. Um, so uh, it, it was it was great. It's an it's a privilege to have someone like you spend the time with me and to point out these things right right when uh, as they happened. So clearly, a humbling experience and clearly a lot of work to do. Um, so. So truly, truly, from the bottom of my heart, Marshall, thank you for being generous with your time. And you know, Deepak, that's why I have someone call me every day. You ask me, when do we ever get to this point where we don't need this anymore? We don't. I don't. Every day I need help. I'm not, the only difference is I'm not kidding myself. I have no pretense. I know I need help. I know I screw up every day. Yeah. And a lot of what just happened, part of that was me helping Deepak. Part of it was just Marshall acting smart and showing how damn profound he was. You know, who knows? So we all can learn. We all can learn. So, you know, we all can look in the mirror. And, you know, I'm no different than you. I'm no better than you. You know, we're just people. Yeah. Final advice. Take a breath. Take a deep breath. Imagine you're 95 years old and you're just getting ready to die. What advice would there lie as 95 year old you who knows what mattered in life and what didn't and what was important and what wasn't? What advice would that person have for the you that's uh, listening to me right now? So, all you listeners, whatever you're thinking now, do that. In terms of performance appraisal, that's all that matters. That old person says you did the right thing, you did the right thing. That old person says you made a mistake, you made a mistake, you don't have to impress anybody else. Some friends of mine interviewed old folks who are dying got to ask this question. What advice would you have? On the personal side, three themes. Theme number one, three words. Be happy now. Not next week, not next month, not next year. Be happy now. Now, Deepak, you said you were 44. Is that correct? Yeah, you can probably look at me and say, look at lucky old Marshall. He's got millions of dollars living in that big house, fancy view, all those books. Man, that guy's got it all. See, Deepak, you got something I don't have. 24 years. What's that worth? No, no, 27 years. What's that worth? You want the best selling books? You want the nice view? Give me 27 years. We got a deal. <laughs> hey, you give me the 27 years. You can have the book. How about the money? Take it all. You got the whole thing. <laughs> so you, you don't want to look at other people and say, I want to be them. They may want to be you. So number one, be happy now. Don't wait till next week. Number two, friends and family. Uh, you know, you've been teaching everybody else how to ask for input and learn. You forgot to ask your wife how you can do better. Don't forget who matters in life. And number three, and you're doing a good job of this one. You got a dream, go for it. Because you don't go up when you're 44. You're not going to go for it when you're 84. And the business advice isn't much different. Number one, life is short. Have fun. You probably could lighten up a little bit there, Deepak. You're a little too serious, right? Uh, but the two of us, who's more serious, you or me? I think it'd be way you, right? So lighten up. You get a good smile there. That's good. Smile a little more. Yeah. And then number two is uh, do whatever you can do to help people. And the main reason to help people has nothing to do with money or status. It's the 95-year-old you is going to be proud of you. And then finally, if you got a dream, you go for it. You go for it. And old people, we don't regret the risks we took and fail. We regret 
the risk we fail to take. So thank you so much. Marshall, a real honor and a privilege to be, to be speaking to you and to be coached by you live. I, I truly treat this as a, a blessing and a privilege. Thank you.